This is the European launch of the uh, i10 Infinite, the most studied MIGS device in humans. Thank you guys for joining us. I know me and the panel are gonna have a fun time here talking to you about i10 Infinite evolution or revolution. If the thought of just using drops and doing big surgery work, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be asking the question, could we be doing it better? We are more happy to offer surgery and intervention in patients who are otherwise quite fit and healthy and pretty early in the course of their diseases. The I stand infinite. The idea behind it is that it's more um, relevant for treating patients with moderate to advanced glaucoma. And as we go from two to three, we're now trying to tap into more and get more out of these stents while still retaining the value of safety, while enhancing the efficiency and predictability of delivery. Uh, it's critically important because of the, the issues around positioning that the device enables us to place the stent in a very predictable and precise manner. And that is placing an even greater responsibility upon us to offer surgery and techniques that are even more exceptionally safe. You really saw exceptional intraoperative and postoperative safety. We saw no hypotony, no explants, no sacroidialysis clefts, and no device-related interventions were needed. When you start off doing MIGS, you really got to go for the procedure with the high safety profile. So when people ask me what's the first procedure to go with, I always say the eye stent because I think you're not going to cause any harm. And as physicians and doctors, first do no harm, right? Remember, you're the guardian of their vision and do what's best in their interest. The earlier you intervene, the better your outcomes will be.